Hi, and welcome to Muzoom. Muzoom is a Netflix-style, teacher-friendly platform that delivers real-life challenge movies featuring real kids showing kids the outcome of their actions, as opposed to teachers telling students what to do. With Muzoom, you are looking at a massive increase in your district-wide fidelity and consistency while delivering life skill education. Today, we'll be looking at the Muzoom platform and what really sets us apart. Our platform can be broken down into just a few sections. First is going to be our video lessons, where all of our videos and follow-up activities are housed. Next, we'll look at the Students and Mood Board tab, which will show you a breakdown of each of your students. And then we'll look at the dashboard and all of the useful data that Muzum provides for teachers and administrators. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Muzum has bite-sized, easy-to-teach videos, lessons, and follow-up activities designed to fit into any teacher's daily routine. Our themes page contains multiple themes to choose from, that are designed to meet each classroom's specific needs and the life skill education Florida standards. Each year, we work hard to speak with teachers, counselors, and administrators who are in the schools and know what the needs of their students are. Based on that feedback, we create four to five new themes each school year. Up here, you will see that Muzum offers three content areas based on grade bands. K1 is what we call our mini Zoom area, is for the younger students, second through fourth grade, and then fifth through middle school. We are very excited to also be releasing in August of 2024 our middle and high school specific content so that we can meet the needs of students of all ages. In our movie lessons page, you can scroll down to see our robust library of our current themes. Choosing a theme is easy. For example, if you've noticed your classroom is struggling with responsible social media use, you can start there. Let's jump into the theme of social media to see how our videos and follow-up activities can support your students. For each theme, we provide you with fully prepared lessons that all start with bite-sized movies. These lessons involve little to no prep time for teachers. Following the video, you'll see a series of follow-up activities designed to reinforce the lesson they have learned in the movies. Let's take a look at our web series video, which is designed to introduce the theme and have students put themselves in the shoes of who they see on the screen, and then choose their own adventure by selecting what emotion they would feel and how they would react if they were in the video. What's on your face? Do you like it? Because I can change it. This better? Uh... Okay. What's going on? Everyone on social media looks amazing, and I'm stuck with this. Well, you can't believe everything you see on social media. People pick and choose what they want to show the world. Yeah, but it's not the same for me. I think Jane's situation could help you. She also had a hard time managing her emotions because of the influence of social media. Wait, I, I have an idea. I'm sure you're gonna like this one. What do you think? I love it. <laughs> Let's go. It's my tablet's ringtone. Augie's just sent me this great bank show with him and Anthony. Look. <laughs> I didn't get that. It's in our group chat. Oh, okay. Popcorn? Cam. <laughs> oh no! Jane realized that she's not included in the friend group chat. On the one hand, she feels excluded from the group. And on the other, Camilla isn't paying any attention to her. And that's annoying. 
Right? Huh? What? Right. So do you think Jane feels jealous or insecure? Once students have explored both pathways and both of those emotions, then you would want to jump into step two, which is our discussion. This will allow students to share their own experiences with any of these different themes. To accomplish this, we've done all of the heavy lifting for teachers and provide fully crafted discussion sheets designed to create conversations in the classroom, which you can see here, as well as on the second page, a writing integration where students can put their own thoughts and experiences onto paper. Step three is our quiz that will check students' understanding of the themes. The students' responses will be populated in the dashboard that we will look at and will show you how your students are doing based on the competencies that are being assessed within that lesson. Once students have completed the quiz, we also have reinforcement activities like the journal that will be the student's safe space to answer questions being asked about their thoughts and experiences with anything related to the theme, a role play that's great for having students put themselves in the shoes of who they're seeing on the screen, and then our keys to action guide that gives different suggestions for how some of these themes and activities can be integrated into other parts of the school day. All of our platform content and materials have been designed based on Albert Bandura's social learning theory and aligned with ASCA standards as well as the CASEL competencies in order to meet state-specific requirements. We are also able to customize our platform with state-specific standards or framework as needed. In each of our themes, you'll also notice under planning resources, we have additional resources to make everything as seamless as possible for teachers, including a pacing guide that will break down each of the lessons within the theme, our letter to parents that breaks down the theme and gives them some tips and tricks on how to have conversations with their students, as well as a reading suggestions guide that will give them a list of books that align with the theme. Now let's take a look at MiniZoom, which is designed for our younger learners pre-K through first grade. MiniZoom is designed to lay the foundations and help them really learn those big five emotions so that they can continue to learn about them and grow their vocabulary throughout the videos and follow-up activities that are designed to teach them how to recognize their emotions and work on their fine motor skills within the activities. Each time your student logs into MooZoom, they will be prompted to complete a wellness check-in. When a student completes a check-in that is a more uncomfortable emotion, the teacher will receive a notification to show that that student may need some extra support or the teacher needs to keep an eye on them. Now let's jump into the Students in Mood Board page, where you'll find information on each of your students. If I take a look at one of my students here and click into their student profile, it will populate that student's daily wellness check-in history as well as the activities that student has completed. In the mood board history, you'll have access to see what may have triggered that emotion for the student, as well as the date that that student did the check-in. This is important information for teachers and counselors so that they can not only have more targeted conversations with their students, but they will also have access to this data for any meetings with stakeholders. Down here at the bottom, you'll also be able to see any of the activities that have been completed and jump in to see their quiz answers, as well as what they wrote in their journal. The last thing we'll take a look at today is going to be our dashboard, which provides helpful data on how your students are progressing throughout their use of MooZoom. MooZoom collects three types of class and school-wide data, including utilization, mood board, and quiz performance. With our utilization data, teachers and administrators are able to see how many videos, discussions, quizzes, role plays, journals, and jumble steps have been completed in their classrooms. The mood board is great for showing overall school or classroom climate based on the wellness check-ins that your students are doing. With all of our data sets, you can filter by individual student, classroom, or grade level to get exactly what you're looking for. You will also be able to filter by specific period of time. So if you wanted to see how your students have been doing that day or throughout the school year, you can always do that as well. In the bottom of each of our sets of data, you will also see our export feature. This export to CSV feature will allow you to keep track of data and see how your students as a whole or individual are doing over time. Our last data piece is our quiz performance data. With the quizzes being based on specific competencies, I'm able to use this data to inform next choices of themes where I may see that some of my students are really struggling. Thank you so much for checking out this demo and we can't wait to see you MooZooming soon.